Taking you back to our top story now, the jury in the trial of Jayant Patel has found the former surgeon guilty of the manslaughter of three of his patients. Let's go to reporter Kieran McKechnie in Bundaberg. Kieran, what's been the reaction there? Well, gasps rang out across the courtroom here in Bundaberg where a live telecast of the verdict was played to former patients. Once all four of the guilty uh, verdicts had been read out, uh, patients got up, they, they clapped and cheered, they hugged each other. Many had tears of joy. In particular, Ian Vowles, who was the, uh, the man at the subject of the GBH conviction against Jayant Patel, he sat on his own quietly sobbing as the guilty verdict in the GBH charge was read out. I'm joined now by a former patient of Jayant Patel, Doris Hillier, whose surgery was botched by the surgeon. Doris Hillier, as the guilty verdict was read out, uh, what went through your mind? A sense of relief because we've fought for this now for five years and to think that it has finally come our way, it's just, it's really too good to be true. We didn't expect the verdicts to come in all guilty but we've given a bonus. It's just absolutely wonderful news, wonderful news for the patients who have lost their lives and their family. Their families are just must be ecstatic. And for Ian Bowles' family to, to know that he's been charged with his grievous bodily harm, it's, and to all the patients who have been mutilated and maimed and everything else, it's just wonderful, wonderful news. Now, of course, the judge is yet to deliver his sentence in, in this case. Uh, what would you like to see happen now to Jayant Patel? Life, 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 life. That would sort of set the precedence for what he's done to so many patients up here. He has ruined their lives, and I don't think that he should ever, ever be able to walk the streets of our beautiful state ever again. Uh, certainly back not in the USA. We don't want him over there then because he also did the same over there. But it's just wonderful news. And I believe in an eye for an eye, a life for a life. Doris Hillier, thanks for your time. Thank you. And so, of course, the, the, this whole case is not yet over. The, the judge is yet to uh, hand down his sentence. And already Jane Patel's lawyers have indicated that they will appeal this extraordinary decision. That's all from Bundaberg.